Welcome to Cooking with Nikki. Today, we'll be making another Belizean favorite, coconut trifle. So come, let me show you how I do this. So what we'll be needing today is some flour, sugar, evaporated milk, eggs, butter, baking powder, nutmeg, and um, of course, a whole coconut we'll be using for this. So the coconut, we'll be grating this and straining the milk out of it to use in the um, cake. Um, you could also blend this very finely and um, you could use the milk that way as well. We'll be grating the coconut. However, um, you can actually cut this up into small pieces to help the blender. Add some warm water and blend it very finely. You could um, Then you would squeeze out the coconut milk out of it and that's what we'll be using in this recipe. So I finished grating the coconuts and I've already squeezed the milk out of it. You basically pour warm water on top of the grated coconut and you squeeze it out into a strainer or a milk bag. And um, so this is what I got from it, a little bit less than two cups of coconut milk. We're not gonna be using all of this. So another alternative to grating your own coconuts, um, you could actually buy um, um, unsweetened coconut and I, I think, believe it's usually in the baking aisle in the grocery store um, but don't get this they have the sweetened one get the unsweetened one because we will be adding additional sugar and different things we don't want to make it too sweet so um, so this is what we're using today and now we're gonna start to mix the other ingredients I'm gonna cream together the butter and the sugar and then we're gonna start adding in the other ingredients all right so I'm about to start creaming the butter and the sugar so I have the butter here, already pre-measured. When I'm finished, I'm gonna have all the um, exact ingredients in the description box. So, um, I haven't made this trifle much. It's not something that my mom used to make. So I'm just kind of testing it out to see more or less how this works. If, it, if this recipe will, it will be a good one. So it's kind of loud. We're gonna allow this to go for like a couple minutes so that the um the ingredients are well incorporated. Um, okay. Do your thing mixer. Stop this so I can scrape it down a little bit. You always scrape your pan down or your bowl down from time to time. See it's still not really fully combined. We're gonna have this go for a little bit. It has been running for less than a minute, so can't expect much to happen within this time. So let's go. I've added two eggs so far. I'm gonna add the next two. One, two. All right, so let, uh, let this go for a little bit and then I'm gonna scrape it down and we're gonna start adding in the flour, alternating the, um, the liquids the coconut milk and some evaporated milk. So I'm gonna add in the baking powder now before I forget about that. A little bit of flour at a time. One, two, some of this coconut milk. I'm going to add about a half cup right now. More flour. Some evaporated milk, a little bit less than a half cup as well. Um, the reason I'm adding this flour very slowly is because I don't want it to clump up too much. Right, so this is 
basically finished. We're gonna fold in the, look at this battery, beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to put some vanilla in this. This is why I tell you, you have to have all your ingredients on hand so that you don't forget anything. Right, I almost forgot the vanilla. Let me have this mix a little bit. It's done, we're gonna fold in some of the coconut. And that's about it for this. We're gonna have to bake this and test it out after that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so this is done. Look at this butter. Looks beautiful. And it smells good to that little bit of touch of nutmeg. Makes a world of a difference in this butter. So I'm gonna measure out some coconut here. I don't know exactly how much coconut I'll be using at first, but I'll eyeball it and I'll give you an idea of how much I put in there, exactly how much I put in there once I'm finished with this recipe. All right, so I got one cup here. So this is looking fantastic. All right, so far I have two cups of coconut in here. I think I'm gonna make it more coconut here. I think we want, I want us to go, go big here. So I'm filling in this last amount of coconut. So basically the whole coconut I put in there. And um, so I'm gonna separate this into two um, baking pans right now. And I'm gonna have these bake at 350 degrees. The oven has been preheating already. Or you can actually put this all in a nine by 13 pan. Um, that would work too, if you wanna do this. Okay. <clears throat> so I have the two cakes separated in, um, these are seven inch pans and they're three inches thick. Um, as I said, you could use a nine by 13 pan or you could use um, eight inch pans, which are more common. Um, but when I'm doing cakes, yeah. what I usually do to make sure that yeah. they have the same amount of butter, I usually weigh them, put them on a scale. Leaf, leaf, if it's off by a few grams, no problem. But this is what helps to, to know that your cakes will be even. So I'm about to put these in the oven. Um, I have a good feeling about these today. I've tried this recipe a couple times, changing um, quantities of ingredients here and there, adding and taking away some stuff. So I think I got it today. And I'm all basing this all on how I feel it should taste um, from the times I've had co um, coconut trifle back home. There's not many people that make this, I, I believe, because I can't remember the last time I went home and you could see a coconut trifle in a, in a um, restaurant or anywhere that's selling anything. So it's one of those, those old time recipes. So this is only my speculation, but I feel that they have this coconut trash leftover is what we used to call it. And I said, wait a minute, this could make a nice dessert. Let's throw it in our pound cake, man. And I think that the whole coconut trifle was made Actually, I don't know if that is true or not. Don't take my word for it. But I could see that happening. But in any case, it's a wonderful dessert. The younger folks don't know about this delicious Belizean favorite. Um, so hopefully today I have success in coming up with a recipe that is close to the original, that works that is delicious, that is moist. So let's see. All right, I'm about to try this coconut trifle. As I said, this is only my third time attempting this coconut trifle. I've been trying to tweak the recipe a little bit. So this is the moment of truth. Let's try it. That's good, I think I got it. I think I got it this time. 
Y'all will have to try his recipe. This definitely takes me back to my childhood. It is soft, it's very moist. You taste the coconut through and through. The subtleness of the little nutmeg that's in there. All the coconut milk. Really, really good. It's not just a coconut cake. This is a Belizean coconut trifle. So let me know how it comes out. Thank you for baking with me. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel.